Beef and onion stir fry is one of those classic dishes that only takes 10 minutes to cook, but it's so fragrant and delicious, it becomes a necessary staple. With really only two key ingredients, you guessed it, beef and onions, it's impossible to mess this up. Plus, this is technically a one-pan recipe, as we'll be cooking the beef and onions at separate times and then combining them at the end with a sauce. The key to the flavors is the combination of our different sauces. If you're new around here, I'm Amy. Join me in my kitchen as I create, test, and share easy to follow recipes, tips and techniques for seasonal and globally inspired dishes. So subscribe if you're new and without further ado, let's dive right in. We'll start by peeling and slicing one whole onion into vertical strips and we want to make sure to separate the segments before cooking with them. Then we'll set it aside for later. Next, peel and thinly slice six garlic cloves. Or if you don't like sliced garlic, you can also finely mince them. Then set them aside. Next, we're going to take three green onions, cut off the root part and discard it, as well as any wilted parts. Then cut the green onions into two inch pieces. For the white part, carefully slice it in half lengthwise and then set this aside for later. My preferred cuts for stir-frying are chuck steak and flank steak, with chuck steak being a more economical choice. However, you can also use sirloin, ribeye, or tenderloin. We want to thinly slice the beef against the grain so that your meat is tender and easier to chew. If using chuck steak or flank steak, trim off any white muscle membranes or fat and cut your steak along the grain lengthwise into two to two and a half inch strips. Make each slice a quarter inch thick. Each piece should be tender and bite-sized. Then put it in a bowl and set aside. Next, into the bowl with the sliced beef, we're going to add two tablespoons of soy sauce, one tablespoon of Shaoxing cooking wine, four tablespoons of water, two teaspoons of sesame oil, and half a teaspoon of baking soda. We're going to marinate it for 15 to 20 minutes. Once we finish marinating the meat, add in two teaspoons of cornstarch and two tablespoons of oil and mix well. This will create a velvety layer that will seal in the beef's moisture. Now in a small bowl, add in two tablespoons of soy sauce and two tablespoons of cornstarch and mix together until there are no lumps. Once it's smooth, add in two teaspoons of sugar, two tablespoons of oyster sauce, one tablespoon of hoisin sauce, two teaspoons of sesame oil, one tablespoon of Shaoxiang cooking wine, and two teaspoons of dark soy sauce, and mix everything well. Then slowly mix in one cup of water and set it aside for later. In a large frying pan, wok, or Dutch oven, set it on the stove on high heat and add in about three to four tablespoons of oil. Once the pan is shimmering, start adding the sliced beef. Sear the beef until brown, then stir fry the beef until it's about 90% cooked. It'll take about two to four minutes, but don't worry, it'll cook the rest of the way in the sauce at the end. 
cook the beef in batches in a single layer, then remove from the pan and set aside for later. If you're doing more than two batches, you'll need to keep an eye on the pan and make sure that it doesn't get too dry or too hot. Turn down the heat slightly and add more oil if needed. In the same pan, add in more oil and the onion slices and stir fry it until it's soft and slightly brown, about 2 minutes. Once the onions are a little translucent, add in the garlic. We can now add the stir fry sauce. Make sure to stir the sauce first, since the cornstarch will settle to the bottom. Then slowly pour the sauce into the hot pan. Keep stirring the sauce in the pan. You'll notice the sauce has turned thick and has turned to a darker brown color. Once the sauce is thick, add the beef back in. Continue to stir fry until the beef is completely cooked, about another 3 to 4 minutes. Finally, add in the green onions as well, give it one last toss, and stir fry everything for another minute. Toss in some extra diced green onions, serve it with some steamed rice, and let the delicious sauces soak into the rice. The sauce is rich, savory, slightly sweet, and super umami. It perfectly complements the beef and the onions. I hope you give this recipe a try at home and let me know how it turned out. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time in our kitchen.